Friction is a force experienced when two objects slide or try to slide over each other. For example, friction between a car tyre and the road. And friction acts in the opposite direction the object is trying to move in. Friction can be useful. For example, friction between your shoes and the ground helps you to walk. Friction between your hand and objects helps you to grip objects. Imagine trying to walk on a surface with little friction, for example ice. You'd probably simply just fall over. And it's similar with a car travelling on the road. On a nice dry sunny day, the surface provides lots of friction. However, if it's raining or if there's ice, the driver will have to take more precautions and drive slower in those conditions. So if we try and move this box along this table, we can see that the box would experience friction and it might be difficult to move first of all. But if we apply a larger force, we can eventually cause that box to move. Now the table on the surface looks as though it's a smooth surface. When you rub your hand along the surface, it may feel smooth. But if you were to look at that surface under a microscope, you would see that it's not really smooth at all. It's this rough surface that causes friction. It is important to reduce friction between moving parts of machinery. This prevents the parts from wearing down and means the machine can operate more efficiently. Lubricants, for example oil and grease, are used to reduce friction between moving parts. When an object moves through a fluid, which is a gas or a liquid, it will experience resistive forces that we call drag forces. For example, this plane has a thrust force in the forward direction provided by the engine, but it also has a drag force in the backwards direction caused by the air particles applying a backwards force on the plane. If the fluid through which the object is moving is air, the drag force is often called air resistance. If the fluid through which the object is moving is water, the drag force is often called water resistance. To reduce the effect of drag forces, fast moving vehicles are designed to be streamlined. Examples of streamlining are also seen in nature. For example, dolphins are streamlined to help them move quickly through the water. Streamlining in sport can be the difference between winning and losing. So when designing equipment for sport, for example the helmet on the cyclist or the bike itself, often these are tested out in air tunnels to see which are the best designs at reducing drag because this means that the cyclist can go faster. Also, they might bring the cyclist into the air tunnel to see which riding position is best at reducing the drag. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos, as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.